Leon Abu from the River Coalition. Had a fella come in uh, from the sugar co-op. All right. And and basically, what he said is, "Too bad, we're doing it the way we want to do it." Now, I don't know how many businesses you're in or how many you've been involved in, but how many of us have a political consultant, a political edge that represents us solely, does not represent anyone else, is hired to be a gun in Tallahassee. Guess what? Sugar Co-op does. And they're happy with things the way they are. So therefore, any time you even say something about sugar, they will be there. And what they're able to do is actually control the people that they sponsor, let's put it that way, they will agree to give you, how much airtime do you need? Oh, you're not interested in us? Oh, well then, we don't have any airtime available. What they do is they buy all the advertising space, and then they give it out to people that see things more favorably for them, let's put it that way. So basically, the east coast of Florida, the west coast of Florida, pays the price to grow some tomatoes and some string beans and some sugar south of white. Um, we already pay them by guaranteeing their product pricing. Nobody guarantees me. I buy it and I hope I can sell it. Them, it doesn't make any difference. They plant it, they grow it, and if there's nobody to buy it, the federal government will buy it. So it's a win, win, win win situation for them. If I pour something off of my dock, believe me, the EPA will be here. But what they're able to do is to back pump. Oh, no, they don't use the term back pump anymore. Now they're augmentating, augmentating the lake level. That sounds a lot better than back pumping, but it's still back pumping. Um, it just amazes me that they've been able to get away with it as long as they have, but they have a politic, a, they have a stranglehold on our politicians. And, you know, I voted for Rooney because I figured he couldn't be bought. Well, guess what? I think what they ought to do is get NASCAR jackets and put little patches on so we'll know who their sponsors are, so we'll know how they're going to vote. It would be interesting. Um, until we can take some political control of it, it will continue as it is. It's even getting worse. They want to use your money, your tax dollars, to raise the lake level to 17 feet, which means building the berm bigger and you're paying for it. So they can store more water in the lake. And they're saying, just think how it's going to save the estuary. It's not going to save the estuary. When it gets to 17 feet, they're going to kick the doors open. It'll just be a repeat of what it is today. Except it'll be 17 feet rather than 15 feet. It's not good for us. But we don't have a political hookups, the political connections, the political influence that our agricultural people do. Let's put it that way. What can I tell you?